Kitchen Witchery by Laurel Woodward. Um, unlocking the magic in everyday ingredients. So it goes through different um, like food categories and like their own chapter. Um, so you get um, you, you do get a few recipes that do involve these categories of foods. Um, like fruits, lentils, um, different like f types of flowers. Um, so like flowers making out of like baked goods rather than edible flowers. Um, um oils, fungi, vegetables, um, a few other, um, categories so and you do get a f um last chapter is recipes for the seasons so like um a few recipes for each sabbat um so you get like kind of like in like the information kind of um chapter um sent set an um intention um timing with like the moon or days of the week so and when it goes into the different types of food so like this one's looking at the types of grains um so this is other types of grains and cereals so barley and you get like some key associ associations below it and then um, a bit of information um and like what you can um add it to or make you like cook it as um so like here you get like choosing the right pan for certain loaves um you get a basic bread recipe um farmhouse white bread um, pancakes, waffles, and crepes. So, like, and you go the recipes one right after the other. Um, so, like, different types of flour. So, like, almond flour, you get the keywords. You get a bit more information on this one. Um, sometimes you'll see, like, this. The, the top two are um, cassava, cassava flour and chickpea flour. So, and they're, like, um, see um the these two other flowers so um tapioca and garbanzo flower um so in beans peas and lentils and so you get like the same type of setup for each type of food um the association and a varying length of information for each so if you want to have that association for like this isn't the end all be all for food association it can be a great addition to other books that are like that so you get other people's perspective of how they associate certain um things to chickpeas or whatever um or like cashews or almonds or whatever <laughs> so and like you do get um different types of recipes um placed throughout so this is a celebration cake um broccoli cauliflower zucchini um roasted vegetables apricot grapefruit kiwi um goes into like types of teas, uh, beer, wine, hot cocoa, kombucha, um, spur, um, spices and herbs. This is the only one where it's kind of like, um, glossary type of setup where it'll have like, um, abundance, banishing, um, beauty and they'll list out the herbs and spices. 
but then it'll also have like a collective it's a collective list and then but you also get that bit of information for some of them um pumpkin pie spice spicy pumpkin um pie spice um so so like yule and the uh, winter solstice so you get um like a bit of an intro and like symbols of the season and then some recipes and each sapid is one right after the other so again it's not an end-all be-all for like recipes for that um sap it but um you get a connection to um food and connection to kitchen witchcraft and can be um a really good intro um uh, um it can be an introduction but and also a good addition for those who are kitchen witches um, who want to delve more into kitchen witchery in some way and this can be a decent um, jump off point for the associations to a lot of different things like ingredients or standalone um, foods like if you're eating cantaloupe as a snack or whatever these are the associations and stuff for it but yeah overall i think it's a really good book to have if that if kitchen witchery is your jam in some way <laughs> so yeah kitchen witchery happy readings